Hi, welcome to our how-to series on personal flowers. Today what we're making is a twisted wire wristlet. So today we're going to be using the gold etch wire, um, but this is a wristlet that's a custom-made design um, and we're going to make it flat, but here you can see we do a bypass on the back so that it's very adjustable and fits onto the girl um, very easily. So that's a super fuchsia orchid and then this one's the true purple orchid and you can see um, we're just going to go through and, and show you how that's made. So the first thing we do is start off with our aluminum wire. Um, I am going to show you a little trick today. Um, everybody has a wire holder that's been provided so I just come out. This is 11 inch wire. I will um, make my corsages all the time. I use a piece of paper on as kind of a glue pad. That way I can um, wipe off the tip of my glue um, if I need to. But So I'm starting with six pieces that are approximately 11 inches long, as long as a piece of paper. So what we're gonna do is come in here and you just need to get them holding flat in your hands. So the first thing you're gonna do is start forming X's. So we come in, your thumb comes up to the X. These three come back and then these three go the other direction. So now you can see I have another X. So I'm moving, just kind of holding that back side down there and moving my thumbs up. So I come here, another X, switch fingers, come up, another X. And at this point, I'm gonna take the longest wire and just come around like that and then come back and you can see what a great twist that that makes. So this can also be used for lots of other applications. And we're gonna show you a flower girl application later in the month and stuff. So please subscribe with the button below and uh, take a look at all of our different how-tos that we're gonna be um, putting up on our YouTube channel. So um, there you can see I've gone to the other side so just forming those X's, coming, moving my thumb up and hitting the X. Same thing here, I'm just gonna come and twist that final one around. Now I'm gonna take my jewelry tip needle nose and just curl that tip back onto itself. You wanna make sure there's no sharp edges coming up. So on the other ones, what I do is I'll start here, twist it back on itself, and then I use my fingers so that that way I can feel that that's a flat surface and there's not gonna be any sharp edges. They're gonna catch my customer's dress or suit either way. So we just come in, twist those curls in, and People were like, which way do we go first? Doesn't really matter. At this point, then you can just make adjustments. So if you wanna flip it to the other side, you can. So you can kind of just customize it. So it just becomes more of a cluster. And so that'll come on the back side there. You finish that. And then here you can see where we are um, to the next step. So the next step is we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of U-glue and cut a portion of that off. So I use U-glue strips. Um, I feel like they're the best value. They travel well. I put them in snack bags and carry them with me at all times. So I'm gonna put that down there. And next we're gonna make a wired base out of bullion that we're gonna be able to glue into. So rather than ribbon, um, I'm gonna come in and do bullion, I'm just wrapping around my fingers. I have a little bit of spacing between my fingers and I'm out on the tips so I don't catch my rings. Um, but I'm gonna come around and do that about 20 times. And then catch your ends. So bring your ends right to the middle here. You pinch that together and then just wrap that around about three times. I'm gonna take that U-glue off and 
stick that right on there and then just come around and wrap that on. So I wanna pay close attention to where my ends are and make sure those ends get tapped into the U-glue on the top side so they don't have anything sharp um, for my customer on there. Then next, you're just gonna spread that out a little bit and <clears throat> form kind of a cup. And that becomes your mechanic that you're going to glue into. So you can make this bigger or smaller. Um, this base works really well for rings as well um, to be able to glue a flower in. But I always glue into some sort of structure. So at this point, I'm gonna come in and take some of my Israeli Ruska sleeves. And we're gonna cut those off, get those all points together so that I can end up with them similarly sized. And then I am just gonna come in and catch some of my U-glue there and form a collar. So I'll just add another little piece. It's the beauty of the strips is that I can cut it into any size that I need. And we're just gonna come here and bring in so that I have a great collared base. <laughs> okay, that's not supposed to happen. So there, what I would do is just cut another little leaf and back that. So if you do end up with any glue coming to the back side, so you can just add a leaf on that back side to um, have that finish. So our other components that we're putting in um, are the dendrobium orchid. And the one thing I would like to teach you about this, sometimes, of course, um, just the way that the dendrobiums come in, sometimes we receive them with a petal that might be damaged. Um, so here we have this petal that is a little bit folded back and here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the throat out there. I'm gonna pinch out the nose so that I end up with a nice clean surface. And then out of these two dendrobiums, what I'm gonna do is form a composite flower. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue. So we've paid for every dendrobium, so obviously we need to use them to be able to make money. So we just twist it a little bit. And so that becomes kind of a composite flower. Um, lastly, you have this great throat, and so we're gonna add that into our corsages too. So we'll make just a couple of those composite flowers. I got lucky on this stem that I don't have a lot of damaged, but it just is a way to make a little bit more of a statement flower and to be able to use some of the buds on here as well. So here I can take this smaller bud and just glue it inside the other dendrobium to create a composite flower too. So we have three of those. We're gonna turn them upside down to get them ready to go into the corsage. And then I have three of the throats too I'm gonna to be able to utilize. Sometimes on the dendrobiums, the throat is very, very stunning. And when you put it in, it's flapped up this way. And so you don't really see that deep, dark, rich color. So sometimes I'll rip out the throats and turn them to the other side and then put them back in. So now I'm just splitting some of these wires to get those dendrobiums into the corsage base 
solidly into the middle. So we wanna make this a little bit of a fantasy flower. Um, we're gonna come in with some hypericum right into the middle to just give us a different focal point and kind of create that imaginary flower that doesn't really exist with green center with the dendrobium orchid surrounding it. So, and I do have some wires here in the center yet that I'm coming into. So always gluing into a, a structure. So I either glue into ribbon or the bullion structure. Um, the bullion will disappear far more, and but it does allow you to um, be able to have a solid base that you feel like you can make a unique corsage and that it's gonna safely stay adhered to the base. Okay, then we'll come in with these couple throats, just right into the middle there. look. Here you can see my pad I can clean up with the glue just by folding up. And our last finishing touch is going to be some of this green trick dianthus. And what this is going to do is give me a little bit of connection between my leaves and my base and then also hide any glue that might be visible. So I just come in right here and they add a great textural element in and also a great way to clean up your mechanics make sure that none of the glue is visible sometimes on spray roses they work as little stabilizers um, when you have those the base the calyx sticks up a little bit more and with orchids, you're able to get a little bit more depth on those. So that's our completed wristlet. And so our finishing touch would be our last um, step on that. So to have it ready for your customers. Now the little twist on it is to adhere the two bullion flowers to either side here, and then that could be worn up. And so then it would be more like a bypass. So there you could see it could go up the arm further or onto the leg. So that's our twisted wire um, corsage for prom and personal flowers. So hope you enjoy it and show it to your customers.